Here's my rant on Chuck E. Cheese, and well, I'll never go to another Chuck E. Cheese again. This happened about five years ago. I was watching my little cousin, me being the awesome cousin I am, decided to take him to Chuck E. Cheese, you know, where a kid could be a fucking kid. Well, that was my first mistake. So when we got to the Chuck E. Cheese, we just walked in. We didn't have anyone stamp our hand when we walked in. I, I didn't, there was no one there. I didn't think it was a big deal to get your hand stamped, but this Chuck E. Cheese, let me tell you something, it was the fucking world to it. But let me, I'll get into that a little later. So we got to the Chuck E. Cheese, I spent about 50 bucks, you know, we got 50 tickets. You know how Chuck E. Cheese is, it smelled like piss from the fucking ball pen, because all these fucking kids are pissing in there and they don't fucking clean it. I think there was fucking shit in the slide, dude, that, but you know, that's a different rant, that's a different rant. So the little kid, you know, my little cousin, you know, we got our 50 fucking tickets, we take him to the counter, you know, we got five Tootsie Rolls for 50 bucks, you know, the whole fucking shebang bang at Chuck E. Cheese. But we try to leave, and this is where the story gets interesting. We get to the exit, the girl's like, where's the stamp on your hand? I'm like, there was no one there to get our hand stamp. I didn't think it was a big deal. We just walked in and she's like, you didn't think it was a big deal. You didn't think, and this girl was going crazy. I mean, I swear to God, I was doing the fucking limbo. This woman was just getting closer and closer to my face. I was like, woman, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I had no idea. I didn't know it was a permanent fucking rule. Maybe you should write on the fucking rule board. Number one, get the fucking hand stamped. I didn't fucking know. I wanted to go play some fucking games, okay? We're at fucking Chuck E. Cheese. I'm not going to wait 20 minutes to get my hand stamped. And then she looks at my little cousin. I'll never forget what he did. You want to hear what this little shit did? She's like, are you with him? He's like, no. I looked at him. I said, mother... I I wanted to go off on this child. I was like, Lord Jesus, give me the strength not to hurt this boy. So I was like, dude, stop playing. You know, obviously there's something wrong with this girl. She's like, excuse me? Excuse me? Are you trying to steal this little boy? I was like, woman, it's a Tuesday night at a Chuck E. Cheese. It's just him and I in here. There has been no one at the Chuck E. Cheese. You served us the pizza. You cashed in our tickets. What do you mean I'm trying to steal this little boy? Like, why would I go to Chuck E. Cheese and steal this little boy, you know? I I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe she even said I was trying to steal my fucking cousin. And he's just laughing his ass off. He doesn't think anything of it, you know? He's just a little kid. So I'm like, listen, woman, we're, we're leaving. I don't care. Like, I'm leaving. And then out of nowhere, I- I'll never forget this. Chucky fucking cheese himself. I don't know what he did. He j- must have jumped over a counter or a table. This motherfucker flew in. And he stopped right in front of me. He's like, you're not leaving, bro. I was like, excuse me? You're not leaving, bro. And I looked at my cousin. I was like, we ain't leaving, bro. <laughs> we ain't fucking leaving. We're going to be stranded at this Chucky e. Cheese. So she's like, do you have any proof that he's with you, that you guys are related? You know, I give her my phone. I show her pictures. Like, okay, this is him. This is I. There you go. Is that enough proof for you? She's like, how do I know you didn't make these here? I was like, woman, you think I just went and fucking to a Chuck E. Cheese, fucking made pictures of my cousin and I next to a fucking Christmas tree? You think you think I did that? She's like, how do I know? I was like, well, I don't know how you don't know. What, what, what the fuck you mean? How do you not? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why am I having this conversation? Why is Chuck E. Cheese himself standing next to me? Holding me back? I I just want to leave. She's like, we just called the police on you, boy. I was like, you called the police on me for what? For taking this child to Chuck E. Cheese? You you called the police on me? For taking this child to Chuck E. Cheese? No, we called the police on you because you're trying to abduct this child. I was like, are you kidding me? The fact is that we're the only two fucking people in the Chuck E. Cheese. There no one came in. It was just us two. You think I stole this kid? I was like, does anybody, does this kid belong to anybody? Can anyone claim this child? It's just you hear it echo through the store. It's just nothing. And I'm just like, oh my God. This isn't, this isn't happening. So now my cousin, he's crying his fucking ass off. He's like, I'm sorry. I was just kidding. I was kidding. You know, he's got his fucking Tootsie Rolls all over his fucking face, just crying his fucking ass off. I'm like, dude, we just want to leave the fucking Chuck E. Cheese. And then the cop walks in. He's like, what seems to be the problem? And she's like, he's trying to abduct this child. I'm like, okay, officer, I'm not trying to abduct this child. I don't know what the woman from Signs is talking about. I have no fucking clue. I'm just trying to leave the fucking Chuck E. Cheese. You know, and she's like, okay, that's understandable. I was like, okay. And I showed him a picture. I was like, this is him and I. They don't believe we're related. They think I made this, you know, in the fucking Chuck E. Cheese. He's like, the fuck? He's like, you could go. And then, you know, he walked us out. You know, he looked at me and he said, bro, I'll never forget this. He came like this close. He's like, don't ever come back to this Chuck E. Cheese again. Whatever you do, 
Don't ever come back to this fucking Chuck E. Cheese. Stay the fuck away from another Chuck E. Cheese. And that's what I've done. And I couldn't believe this. All this from going to Chuck E. Cheese. So then I get in the car with my cousin. You know, we finally left the fucking whatever. The fucking Dawn of the Dead Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know what the fuck to call it. I don't fucking know. So I'm in the cousin. I looked at him. And this child has the fear of God in him. He is so scared. And we don't say anything for about 20 minutes. And then I looked at him and I said, boy, it may not be a day, it may not be a year, it may not even be five years, but I'm gonna get you back. I'm gonna get you back because I will never forget what the fuck you caused at Chuck E. Cheese. But I didn't swear because I don't swear in front of children. You know, that's just ignorant. So that's my story on Chuck E. Cheese. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. You know, leave a comment. Tell me some fucking crazy stories you guys have. If you really like this video, share it, you know. Just share it around, you know. If this gets a lot of views, I'll keep doing them. Because I got a lot of fucking crazy shit that's happened to me, you know. I got a crazy fucking life and shit. I don't fucking just rambling. I'm sorry. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. <sighs> Look at that little smile. I'm out.